Recently, Wargaming has unveiled four brand new tanks going into their super test server. Usually, I wouldn't cover a topic like this on my main channel, but I figured given the tanks in question, it might be interesting to look into the origins of these tanks. So in today's video, we'll be first looking at the four tanks and asking if they really did exist. If they did, we'll take a look at the history of the design, and if they didn't, we'll consider if they were even possible to do. Going in order, we first are presented with their so-called M4A2 T-34, which is planned as a Soviet tank. As far as I can tell from searching, this tank is essentially made up, however, there may be a sliver of truth to it. During 1944, two Russian engineers proposed a way to convert foreign tanks to have more firepower. Shazovnikov and Kazarin supposedly claim the foreign tanks such as the Sherman, Churchill, Matilda, and Lee were too large without having enough firepower. This led them to consider the idea of either mounting the turret of the T-3485 to these tanks or to convert them into self-propelled guns. One drawing exists showing a sketch of this with a gun mounted in the hull of a Sherman with the turret said to have been removed for another use. However, either due to the lack of readily available guns, potential political issues caused by modifying foreign tanks, or a combination of the two, this was never done. As for the tank created by Wargaming, I can only mark it as a fake, although in theory it could have been done. There was just no reason to waste a T-34 turret on a Sherman though, as it could just be repurposed for another of its own kind. Next we move on to the Matilda LVT. Although the Matilda was one of the most widely used tanks during the Second World War, serving on every front, this particular tank is not quite real. It does strike me as odd that they chose this combination over some of the arguably more interesting variants, but several do already exist in game, so that may explain it. Could this tank have possibly been created from tank parts during World War II in theory? I would say that it is definitely possible, considering the US had many LVTs with the larger turret in the Pacific, where the Matilda also served the Commonwealth forces. It's reasonable to assume that someone could have had the bright idea of swapping the turret, but as with the previous tank, there was really no reason to do this, and there's no evidence it was done. Before you go calling the tank completely fake though, allow me to show you this photo. Here we see almost the exact same tank Wargaming is intending to sell to you created out of an LVT turret and other tank components along with a fake gun and mantlet. There are also photos out there showing what could have been the same Matilda or a different one using the turret from what I believe to be a Staghound. Although it doesn't necessarily make this vehicle a real battle tank, it seems possibly unintentionally that they created a slightly less fake tank in this case. It also proves my previous point about it being theoretically possible during the war. Interestingly, there is another British tank with the LVT turret in existence. In a museum called the House of Tank in Wichita, Kansas, there is a strange Valentine tank with the LVT turret. This is said to have been done by the tank's previous owner for use as a movie prop. Now we move on to some slightly less fantastical designs, starting with the Penzer Kampfwagen M15. This is the first tank in today's video that is not just a real design, but actually existed with photographs of it still being around today. The story of it is a little hazy, but we do know that it was built late in the war between 1944 and 45. It's easy to think that this was done by the Germans, and that's most likely the case, but one of the remaining photos throws a wrench into that somewhat. The tank is shown to have markings of the Ustashe Croatian units on the front of the tank, the fact that this tank was later photographed alongside other German armor after capture by Yugoslav partisans makes this even more confusing. With the Croatian units never using either the M15 or the Panzer 38, this makes it more likely that the Germans were the creators of the tank, although the conversion was not a complicated one so it could realistically have been done by either party. I tend to think that given the markings this was used by the Ustashe, but there is no information to confirm this and it is purely my opinion. Finally, we reach the last tank on our list, the Panzer Kampfwagen 35R. This tank is also completely real and was actually done on at least two separate occasions by the Romanians and Germans. If you saw my recent video on the Romanian R35, you probably remember me mentioning the prototype they created using the turret of a T26 on the hull of their R35. This same thing was done by the Germans around the same point of the war. These tanks are easily distinguished by their turret shape, with the Germans utilizing the more conical turret and the Romanians using the round one. 
Unlike the Romanian tank, the German R-35 has no clear origin with it potentially being from multiple different units during the latter half of the war. I personally tend to think it was more than likely done for use as an anti-partisan vehicle since a large number of R-35s were used in that role. Likely the full story of this tank will never be known until more photos or other information about it is uncovered. As far as this video is concerned though, the information is clear enough to say that this tank is very real. With that, we reached the end of our list. So what do you think of these wacky combinations? Let me know in the comments below. In my opinion, I have no issue with games choosing to add fantasy tanks or using existing documents to create different versions of real tanks, as long as it's made clear that these are not real tanks. Whether these tanks will actually be good or not is a whole different story and one that is more suited for my Cone of Arcade channel where I post gaming related videos. If you'd like to see me cover these tanks in the future over there, please let me know by dropping a comment and subscribing to both channels. I just passed 10,000 subscribers over there, so it would be awesome to hit the next milestone. That's more than enough self-promotion though, I hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to let me know if you'd like to see more like it. Huge thanks to everyone who helped provide extra information for this video, especially Roshan Dao from the Tank Encyclopedia Discord who sent me a photo of the Museum Matilda. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video.